I'm Dr. David Hill and today we're going to be talking about how to calculate an infant's caloric needs. First of all, I think we should ask why would we want to calculate an infant's caloric needs. The best way to know that your baby is getting all the calories that he or she needs to grow and develop is to get the regular routine wellness exams that your baby is scheduled for. Usually that occurs one or two days after your baby is released from the hospital at birth. There's another visit at two weeks of age, another at two months, four months, six months, nine months, and 12 months. At each of those visits, the baby's doctor is going to plot the baby's length, weight, and head circumference, and he or she should be able to show you how your baby's growth parameters stack up against all other babies who are exactly the same age. Those are the growth charts, and that's the best way that we know that babies are growing and developing the way they need to do. Now, some people may want for some reason to calculate exactly how many calories their baby is getting a day. Perhaps you're doing some sort of nutrition study for school. Uh, so the first thing you want to know is what's going in. Well, human breast milk on average has 20 kilocalories per ounce. An ounce is 30 cc's. So that's 20 kilocalories per 30 cc's. Commercial formulas are also designed to produce 20 kilocalories of energy for every ounce of formula. Now there are some special formulations of formula uh, for premature infants, for example, that have higher calorie counts, and those are usually labeled on the formula. So you may be using Enficare 22. Well, that's 22 kilocalories per ounce of formula. Breast milk is not consistently caloric. The beginning of the milk has a different calorie content from the end milk. Why? Because more fat comes in at the end of the feeding. We call that the hind milk. But if you were to pump the whole feeding, put it in a jar and average it, it would come out very close to 20 kilocalories per ounce. Now, if you have an infant who's older, say four to six months or older, and eating baby foods, you'd have to look at the calorie content of the baby food that you're feeding and figure out how much food your baby was getting. Then you need to know, well, here's all these calories. How do I know if they were enough or not? And I'm sorry, nobody has these equations memorized, so I am going to read them to you so that you know them. They vary by age. So for an infant from zero to three months, you want to take the number 89 times the weight in kilos. Subtract 100 and then add 100, I'm sorry, the weight in kilos minus 100. So you take 89 times the weight in kilos minus 100, and then you add 175. Between four and six months, you do the same thing, but a little different. You take 89 times the weight in kilos minus 100, and then you add 56 to that number. As the baby grows, the caloric intake that he needs goes down progressively. So at seven to 12 months, that number is 89 times the weight in kilos minus 100, plus the number 22. Now, for 13 months up to three years of age, the calculation is 89 times the weight in kilos minus 100 plus 20. That said, be aware that if your baby's activity level is different, if he or she is sick or recovering from an illness, for example, that may go up. It may go down if you have a particularly sedentary baby. So you don't want to get terribly compulsive about these calculations because they're all averages. They're guidelines. Your baby may need a few more or a few fewer calories than even his or her sibling. The best thing to do if you're really worried about your baby's nutrition is talk to his or her medical provider. They can get those measurements we were talking about and help you choose a diet that's age appropriate and nutritious for your infant. Talking about measuring necessary caloric intake in infants, I'm Dr. David Hill.